Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, we've got a lot going on over the next few days as we transition out of this very warm airflow that many regions have got and into a more unsettled one, a more typical one actually. We're going to see a lot more southerlies and southwesterlies over the next several days and it's going to bring in some snow and drop the temperatures in both islands. But it is not all bad news. Some areas have got uh, warm, sunny weather still to come. Some others want the cold. So I think it's a pretty good combination of weather, but it is going to be unsettled over the next week and a half. Here's that big low, the one that brought the stormy weather to Australia. It is now out of the Tasman and weakening. That's why the center of it is so large. But you can see the warm northwest flow in front of it and the colder southerly behind it. And in fact, it's this warm airflow just off the uh, western side of the North Island that produced thunderstorms last night. You couldn't hear it, but you could see the flashes of lightning around Waikato and parts of Auckland, just the clouds having this flicker of light from all these thunderstorms out at sea. Now they are still there, and that low moves in overnight tonight. And this is how it looks by lunchtime Wednesday. The center of the low, it's sort of in this area here, it's all being stretched out losing its shape completely. So it lasted about a week all up. Then you've got the cold front there moving through into the North Island. Warm nor'westers ahead of that change and then a colder southwest behind it and further to the south even colder southerlies coming through there. There'll be snow on the mountains and ranges. That dark blue line that indicates that colder change sweeping in on Wednesday. So by Thursday that cold air slides up the eastern side and in towards Wellington. Now as you can see it's mostly clear. That's the wind flow, that's southwesterly or westerly even for some areas, wind flow. So that pushes the rain clouds over on the western side, keeps the east mostly sunny, but there's another cold front coming through there on Thursday as well. And in the north, more showers and windy southwesters. By Friday, more westerlies now, so it might warm up a little bit in some eastern areas, especially in the North Island, sunny and dry, uh, fairly sunny and dry for many of these eastern areas of the upper North Island as well. But further south, that cold blue line is still there, another cold front coming in and surging up the western side of the South Island. Saturday looks like this, cold over the southern half of the South Island, but the winds are going to turn northwest and warm things up just a little bit, Keep in mind that nor'wester is really a southerly. It's coming up and turning just there. So there's another low pressure system in the Southern Ocean that tracks by on Saturday. Pretty mild in the North Island still. You've got uh, west to northwest winds for you on Saturday. Plenty of dry weather as well. So it may not be too bad, but let's have a look at Sunday. Uh, this might change a little bit over the next couple of days. A big low, a quite a deep one off the east coast of Otago off the east coast of the South Island, to be honest, it covers the whole area. Big strong westerlies, right up here even to Kai Tai and Auckland. That dark blue line indicates the colder surge of air moving north, so there'll be snow on the mountains and ranges, and that kicks off colder weather for next week as well. So a lot is going on. This map could still change for Sunday. There's a lot of moving parts, and just one part is to change, and it throws everything out. But we are seeing more cold fronts coming in later this week and this weekend. We're seeing more surges of cold air. Each one could get colder than the last. So get ready. After the warm weather we've just got at the moment, things are about to change. That is all from me. We'll update you again on Wednesday with the latest.